Hi, my name is Dr. Eiko Holman. Today's topic is triggering mechanisms, which is very, very common and commonly called button pushing. You know, when somebody pushes your button and you react in anger or resentment and even fear and, and so on. And uh, this is very common. And depending on your past experiences, your current perception of the person who is talking to you or the environment you're in uh, will be totally different depending on your past uh, experiences and you might interpret the person's gestures or uh, tone of voice and so on or even body language will trigger you to react in uh, positive or negative ways and so many many people especially who had uh, uh, PTSD, which stands for post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, had the memories of you know, past events that was traumatic, and uh, they would have uh, consistent reactions with maybe one or two triggers. It could be from uh, tone of voice, it could be facial expressions, it could be body language, and uh, uh, it could be foreign accent, uh, any features that will stand out to remind you of your past experiences. And then in, in traumatic experiences, the person can actually go into a tremendous uh, PTSD typical uh, reactions. Like one person could faint or I could, uh, the person can go violent and start attacking people and all of these things can be triggered by just a few uh, uh, instances. Now let me give you one example. Uh, this lady when she was I think 12 years old her mother was killed but before that she heard husband and wife and her parents uh, yelling and screaming and then next uh, second there was a uh, explosive sound, gunshot, and the next thing she knew, she saw her mother on the floor in a pool of blood. And so three things actually started to trigger from then on. So yelling and screaming, the gunshot or any kind of explosive sound, and the sight of blood. Those three will always trigger her reactions. And she even go into some, uh, uh, like, a, uh, well, uh, uncontrollable reactions and uh, even faint. And uh, she was going through a lot of, uh, uh, you know, experiences, even hospitalized, until she was about 40 years old. Can you imagine all these years she was going through this? And uh, uh, finally she heard about me came to me and then the Lord directed me to release her from the triggering mechanisms and in the neurological connections in her brain and it had to do with all three brains the head brain, the heart brain and the gut brain and so especially the trauma memories are stored away in the heart brain and the gut brain and so I dealt with all three in the trauma memories and I cancel and nullify the power of those stored memories that would trigger and uh, literally the Holy Spirit did the uh, rewiring <laughs> of her brain and so from then on she had no more reactions and uh, no flashbacks and nightmares and so on and she was completely set free and so I will, I'm, I'm using some extreme examples, but I think almost every one of us have some form of triggers, okay? It could be in your marriage situation, it could be job situation, it could be in the neighborhood or in-law relationships and so on. And so if you can get rid of those triggers out of your life and out of your memories, then you will have a lot more smooth, harmonious, relationships in your job situation, in your marriage situation, 
and especially your physical conditions. So most people who have many trigger mechanisms are actually physically healed. For example, uh, high blood pressure will be brought to normal. Uh, one man who had the uh, uh, scheduled bypass operation because of his uh, clogged up arteries. And uh, uh, after he was healed of triggers and a lot of trauma memories, and he was totally healed and then the uh, surgery was canceled. And so many, many physical uh, healings uh, will be obtained only after trigger mechanisms are eliminated.